Well, over the last 25 years, I've been in an incredible position to see a number of innovations enter fruition. I remember being a child, actually, and going to the checkout and seeing the first barcode in Australia being used by uh, a checkout representative. It was fascinating. Here were these contiguous and non-contiguous bars that could be scanned and then you could automatically pay for the product using a credit card, using a, you know, based on a magnetic stripe card. I remember actually my mum receiving her first credit card. These credit cards were just being mailed out to consumers at the time because they were used to using cash instead. And mum thought, what am I going to do with this credit card? And she just said, I'll throw it in the bin. I don't have any use for the credit. I've got cash. And so she didn't even cut it up, I recall. She just put it in the bin, and that's unheard of today. And then I was fortunate to be in high school when desktop computers entered homes, and he was a personal computer. You had machine power in your house. And I remember purchasing an Amiga 500, and again, my mother was a great influence. She said, let's buy the computer, which has a lot of different colours, and you can hear a lot of sounds on it. So she was way into multimedia, I think, before even myself sisters or brother was. And so we brought this computer home and we started doing other things with it. We could write on it, we could create animations ourselves, we could do a whole lot of things including play games of course which is our favourite pastime at that, in that era. Later on what we had was a connectivity of computers. We had the internet making an impact and I was at university when the first browser or well-known browser, Netscape, came into the fore. And all my friends, you know, were saying, hey, let's go up to the lab and let's use um, Netscape um, during our lunchtime hour. And then email became very prominent. Our professors were asking us to submit our assignments by attaching them to an email on a Unix system. And what we thought was, well, we can use this internet to communicate with one another and we don't have to even use our telephones from home. And so people started sharing um, incidents or, or jokes across, you know, from each other while they were working on their lab assignments. And it became sort of a fun thing to do. But it permeated beyond the classroom. It permeated beyond the home. It entered business. It entered government. And this is when knowledge management systems became prominent. How will we store all our information? How will we exchange data between uh, enterprises? And when I started uh, in the workforce in 1996, I remember receiving my first brick mobile phone. I can call it a brick because we often look back and reflect on the size of those things. They were monsters and connectivity wasn't always up when you needed it to be. But what happened at that point was people realised we don't have to any longer communicate from within walls or buildings. We can now communicate with one another while we are on the road. And so this gave birth to new types of salespeople called road warriors that pretty much relied on their mobile phones night and day to conduct their business. Completely cashless, completely wireless, and completely anywhere you wanted it to be. So these major innovations, what we can see over time is computing power becoming incredibly powerful. Storage becoming bigger. We're now talking not, you know, megabytes. In the first computer I had, half a megabyte was huge. Today we're talking about terabytes of data. We're also talking about processing speeds. I remember connecting at 1200 baud rate. Now we're connecting with broadband and sending hundreds of megabits per second of detailed information through our networks. We're talking about two megabit pipes and, and huge uh, storage capabilities and processing power and a miniaturization of technology. We're not talking bricks anymore, but small implants that you can actually wear even or tags that you can um, place onto your clothing. So a lot has happened during the last 25 years and the next 25 years seem to be going as rapidly.